Really All right, everybody, we got Dave from Sarasota, my uh, my subscriber to my RaiseSoldierFlies.com blog. And uh, Dave and I are going to do a little duckweed for a grub exchange. And Dave, if you'd reach in there and show the people how thick this duckweed is you brought up with us, it's like incredible. Awesome. I'm going to ask you to, to get a big old handful of that right. and just dump it right into the Right in the center there. Maybe, maybe one more. Yep. Save some of this duckweed myself and see if I can't get my culture going. Right now it is 12:15, and uh, you probably can't, probably can't see any grubs, but let me assure you, they're here. So we're gonna. We're going to give it a couple minutes. We'll come back and we'll see uh, whether or not the grubs are attracted to that duckweed. All right, I'm back here with my friend Sarasota Dave, and we're going to check out the, the whole uh, duckweed situation. Wow, you can see that they have split it out here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Loving it. They're loving it. They're like feasting on it. Yep. Oh yeah. Look at that. I would say that they're definitely into the whole duckweed thing. So, For those of you that have a duckweed source, it would appear it's a viable black soldier fly food. Got uh, got several bags here of, of eggs and newly hatched larvae, plus a goodly amount of uh, of uh, more mature larvae. Plus, oh, did I give you the bag of the adults, the adult larvae? We got to get we got to get one more thing. Uh, it is about a 70 pound bunch, believe it or not, when I harvested it. Uh, typically I'll harvest my bananas when just one of the bananas gets ripe. And I'll hang it up and over the course of the next few days they'll, they'll all ripen. But this particular bunch uh, crept up on me. It ripened on the tree. When I harvested it, a lot of the bananas fell off the bunch. You can see here where a lot of them, they're so ripe, they're just uh, like, like this guy here is just falling off. So anyway, a lot of them dropped in the dirt. I didn't want to eat a banana that had dirt, and sand and stuff on it. So some of them I put in the soldier fly bin. And we'll go out and compare how the uh, soldier fly larvae are doing compared with the duckweed that we put into the bin. Uh, Sarasota Dave and I did about uh, oh, almost four hours ago. Let's see what, what's happening. My new good friend, Sarasota Dave, who is actually from Mayaca, Florida, uh, left about an hour, hour and a half ago. Uh, but I tell you what, we had a great conversation. There were some adult beverages consumed while he was here. And you're looking right now at the duckweed culture that Dave left for me. This has got to be at least four inches deep. It's going to give me a great head start on the duckweed. But let's go check over here in the bug barracks. And we will see exactly how well the black soldier fly larvae are doing with the duckweed. It's been three hours just to the minute since we put this stuff in. And you can see they've already re greatly reduced it in quantity. I'm going to scoot it around. You can see they're underneath it feasting like crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these boys like it. It's like salad for them. Now, you know, I, I tossed in a, a banana, and you can see over here the banana's got a lot of grubs under it, too. 
But the bananas like dessert, and just like children, soldier, soldier flies, they're going to go for the dessert first. The salad, probably not being consumed as fast, but I tell you what, based on what I see here, it ain't going to last very long. Anyway, it was a great afternoon. I think we have conclusively demonstrated that soldier flies will eat duckweed. And just like kids eating their vegetables, it's, it's good for them. I'm back out here. It's uh, about 5 o'clock. The space shuttle just launched. Came outside to see if I could see it, but there were clouds on the horizon that obscured it. So I decided I would take a picture. It's been... Uh, almost five hours since we put the um, duckweed in the uh, the bug barracks here. As you can see, I took a picture of those bananas. And these soldier fly larvae are immature. They're like soldier fly children. You can see there's a lot of them over here eating the banana. Just like kids, they like their dessert more than their vegetables. But there are quite a few of them, as you'll see underneath here that are feasting on this, uh, look at that, they're feasting on this duckweed. So, even though they're more dessert oriented than they are vegetable oriented, obviously it is a viable food source for them. Six hours after the stuff has been dropped in here and it's virtually gone. There's a little remnant left. Still some larvae underneath it, but uh, yeah, they're feasting on this uh, duckweed. They love it. night that the duckweed was all gone, but it appears that there's still quite a bit left in here. And it doesn't look, there's still a few of them feasting on it. So it actually it doesn't look like it's their food of preference. Uh, they certainly were more attracted to the rotten banana that I threw in yesterday, and there were a couple of catfish that I gut hooked, threw in last night. You can see those are already virtually gone, but the duckweed still remains. So it would appear that they'll, although they'll eat the duckweed at least initially, it's not their food of preference. Uh, I'll be interested to see if uh, Duckweed Dave has better success when um, he gets his colony established up there in Mayaka. And perhaps if they weren't given the uh, choice of more appetizing food, they would have consumed it better.